So we've already seen an application that ideal form should involve having that hand flexed and as high up on the body as possible. We've seen that we don't want to let that slide as I arch. And we've seen that we'd like to support it underneath and lift it up rather than just being on front or even C grip. We'd like to have it right underneath. My preferred grip is the middle finger somewhere in alignment with the flexion of the wrist, overwrapping the condyle of the bulby protuberance on the, on the ulna and grabbing with two fingers on the hand fat. So I don't choke the lever of my forearm and lose leverage and length. And likewise, I don't only grab the hand and then have loss through that bend. I want to have a supported flexion, still have the capacity to bend and spike up with the radial condyle, but in the same token, have a fully braced wrist. So precisely this action of the wrapping arm is what we're looking at now, and it's more homemade gear time. So the first one, I've just taken a wooden stick, and what I've done at the end is I've taken a large Ziploc bag, about 50% filled with sand, sealed it shut, duct taped the lip so it doesn't rip open. Then, because it's only about 50% full, folded it in half and wrapped it around one time around the uh, stick. We have here uh, probably about four pounds of weight, duct taped it securely in place, you can hear the sand. And so we use this for a lot of different types of stick work, we use it for a lot of grip work. And if I'm talking about that particular grip, what I want to see is my pinky and my ring finger are firmly bedded around, my thumb is in an antagonistic position, and it's almost like I'm skiing. I want to work that posture that posture here. So you'll feel the belly of the forearm getting a tremendous workout. And I can even have the second hand there. So I learn how to really spike up my wrist and get the Achilles tendon. And I can work it with the elbow flared, which is a certain type of um, delivery. But you'll see here, again, that's only the acquisition position. To really pop it up, it's hard for me to lift. As I bring the elbow back, I actually have much more power to get that rotation shared between the radial muscle and the other muscles of the forearm and get it up. Another piece of homemade gear that's significantly heavier, like a homemade Indian club, made by uh, PVC pipe. We have a three inch piece going to a one and a half with a neck in the middle, a cap on either end. And in this case, it's filled with uh, gravel. It's about 14 and a half pounds, this one. We use some um, ABS uh, solvent to, uh, not solvent, but uh, glue to sort of melt weld the, um, the junctions, just in case. And we cover it with duct tape more for comfort if we're gripping here, so when we slide. Something like this, if we reverse grip that, it is again about 14 pounds, so just working that, it's tremendous work for the forearm. And if I join my hands, I can even use the other arm to kind of lean on this, this portion here. You'll get a great burn, nice and tight on the body. And after the fact, there will be no confusion or question as to what muscles are engaging in the forearm when you jack that up. That motion becomes so quick and so tight, it's fantastic. And it's enough to do, with a weight like that, I might do 16 to 20 reps once or twice in a session. Uh, you do that a few times a week, huge. And if I superset from the heavier weight and then go back to this after, this is like air. It becomes really, really easy to manipulate. So two simple, 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 simple tools. This just cost about three, four bucks to make this one cost. I think somewhere in the vicinity of about 10, because we made a few of them at the same time. Um, but awesome, multi-purpose tools that you can use for a lot of other exercises that will hugely change the way you wrap and crimp the ankle. Hardest skill.